Welcome to the next tutorial in our Advanced GIMP tutorial series. This tutorial will show you about how to use luminosity masks to help you with your photos so that way you can reduce some of the saturation in the colors of your photos or just in general have better control over what you see inside of your photos. To start off, we have an image open here which we're going to use luminosity masks to remove some of the saturation in the photo so we can see more of the mountain behind. So if you go over to the left, you can see we are normally on our layers section here, and we want to create a copy of our original layer, so duplicate layer. And then we want to go over to channels, and you can see what we're going to do here is select our red channel from the rest of our channels here, uh, we want to select all on our image. We're going to drag the red channel down to the copy down here. And then we will start by creating this one as the L for light, because we're going to save the highlights of the image and we're going to save the shadows of the image. We'll start this by right clicking on the light part of the image and we will subtract from selection. Make sure your entire image is still selected. That will select the darker parts of the image. And we will go to Select, Save to Channel. That'll actually save the shadows of the image. So we'll save that as D for dark. And then if you right click on our layer again, our light channel here, Click subtract from selection one more time. It gets even further darker and we'll save that as DD. And then we'll go back to our lights again, subtract from selection one more time and we'll save that as DDD. So that way you can see all the different shadows have been saved now out of our image and we'll now go and save the lighter parts of our image instead of our darker parts. So select none, then go to our darker parts of our image, select all, and when you do this you will get the lighter parts of the image instead of the darker parts and you will do the same thing as you did before which is you will click save to channel and then I'll save this as LL, go back to the dark parts, Subtract from selection and it'll do it again. Select, save to channel, and then we'll save that as LLL. In doing this, you will have created a whole bunch of different uh, channels for your different shadows and highlights in your image. And we'll be using that as a part of our layer mask to create luminosity mask. Now, if you go back over to the layers, you can click on your copy, which I'll set here as light mask, and then I'll make another copy of this, which we'll call the dark mask. And then for the light mask, we'll right click and then uh, make sure that you your selection is none. So we'll right click on the light mask, click add layer mask. Instead of normally you, you would make it white, we'll set it to channel. And you can see under our channel, we actually have all of our different channels here for our shadows and our highlights. So if we go to our light channel, we can add that and it will actually change it. So you can see our light channel removes all of our shadows from the image. And now we're able to edit the image of our luminosity layer by going to colors and colorize, making sure that our light mask layer is chosen, not the mask itself. And with the sliders here, you can see I can change the hue of the image to make it a lot better and the lightness of the image. So that way it can come through without too much saturation going on in the image. And you can compare that to the original image, which you'll see here. Saturation, removed saturation. And there's a lot more things you can do with luminosity masks in GIMP.